Lizzie. Thank you again for joining me. Um, I have multiple hauls today. I'm not even sure what the sales were exactly. I think some of them were a $13.95 candle sale that I used a 20% off coupon on a week ago that got delivered. And then recently, of course, they're having that body care sale, which isn't the best, but I went ahead and picked up some of the new scents for this sale instead of using rewards on them later. Um, they were like the 550 shower gels and 650 fine fragrance mist. Um, so I had a Bopis for that and a couple of the 1495 candles. Um, I did place an order online as well as uh, did Bopis because I had another 20% off promo code that was expiring. The ones that flash up on the app sometimes, I haven't seen one in the past couple weeks. So I just decided to use these because they were expiring and ordered like some of the items that were 50% off with that additional 20. Um, I also had a homeworks order. Oh my gosh. My candle area slash office is a mess. I hope to maybe film um, a little bit of organizing because um, I got another one of those Home Depot shelves and I want to place it over here and put most of like my non bath and body work stuff on that shelf alone, like homeworks, um, Kringle, some Yankee, and if I can fit Goose Creek. And then I just want to do some rearranging. So I just want like the main wall of candle shelves to be like the three wick crates. And if I have room, the single wicks and, and, I don't know. I just need to organize because it is piling up on the floor. And when I'm running out of floor space, that's an, that's a problem. Um, and I have to get my desk situated again because I'll be going back to work in a few weeks. I know. It's just like, uh, where did the time go? Irish is starting pre-K and it's just uh, a lot going on. Let me quickly share with you a little homeworks order. Um, it wasn't the best deal that they're having now. I should have realized that with Labor Day, they're going to have a better deal, but I didn't wait and I placed an order. It was like the buy one, get one 60% off. Not, you know, that brings it down to like what, $21 or something each. Um, so I got four of this peanut butter and raspberry jam candle. I didn't even know it was out yet on the, on the website. And I was just like, gotta get this. It's peanut butter, raspberry jam, caramelized sugar, vanilla bean. And it has a really pretty, like, raspberry red wax. It's a little disappointing on cold. I mean, I get the raspberry jam note, but not so much peanut butter. I don't know. There's sort of a little bit of a creaminess to it, but I'm not sure if it's going to, like, come out during the burn I mean, it's definitely different than Wild Berry Jam Donut from Bath & Body Works. It's just like, I don't know. Why can't they get the perfect balance of peanut butter and jam? <laughs> I just don't know. Um, and so they have the, yeah, the metal lids again. I think this, yeah, these are the nice ones, I think. And inside is different because usually they pack them, um, you know, a box within a box. And then they have this container with like, another one similar like this on top so it kind of closes it in but instead they just had a piece of cardboard so maybe this is how they're cutting corners which you know i'm fine it, i've never had a homeworks candle break knock on wood um because it is a box within a box but yeah i just thought that was different so four of those so you know we'll see how it goes burning um then let's see some fall candles from the 1395 sale I picked up the Praline Delight. I got two of these. I really like the mushroom on there. The label itself is okay. It's um, not really my favorite, um, but I like how it's only $24.95. Uh, roasted pecans, brown sugar, creamy caramel, no fancy lid, and brown wax. And I really do like this scent. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but since it was like a new scent, I was like, okay, I'll get two of them. And it's you do get that you know, nuttiness with the brown sugar and caramel and it's sweet. But that nuttiness really does just like come through as a nice, like creamy, warm fragrance. Not like super sugary, like over sickening, like the um, 
you know, like a salted butterscotch or anything like that. So I really do like that one. And I like the mushroom on there. I also picked up a pumpkin cupcake in this line. I like the pretty pink wax. Um, whipped buttercream Madagascar vanilla pumpkin spice freshly baked cupcake. And it's just a nice pumpkin spice note. A little bit of the vanilla. Not too much of like the cupcake. But I think it smells really good for fall. And like that. I did pick up the apricot and fig. But that one came shattered. So they're sending me a replacement for that one. Um, I wanted to get another blueberry pumpkin patch. And the wax looks a little weird. But this one is Farm Fresh Blueberries Ripe Pumpkin Autumn Spice. I know this one is like growing on me more and more because I really do like that blueberry juice note with that spice note and it's just a nice fall scent. So I'm kind of wishing I got more because I know my store doesn't have these anymore. I picked up a Welcome Home because this was an online exclusive, I believe. I think that's pretty, but still nothing special uh, packaging. Cinnamon Sugar Warm Apple Butter Clove Buds Brown Sugar. No special lid on that one. I always get one of these thinking I'm going to like it this year, but it's not, it's not a favorite. I get a lot of that sour note, just like a sour cream cheese. Um, I think it's supposed to be the warm apple butter, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's an apple butter note, but it smells like sour to me and I don't get really cinnamon or brown sugar. So unless the packaging really gets me in the future, I think this is going to be like my last welcome home. <laughs> and then finally, oh, I hate when they get the wax on here. I got a cozy Sunday night. I think this packaging is hideous. It's just so, so like ugly and manly and. 70s. I don't know. The wood grain. I don't know. Um, warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, vanilla bean. I really do like this. I think it was, was it the Candle Channel? Or Eric, I'm sorry, um, said that it was kind of a, like cuddle weather, which I could see, but it is different. It's like they could be twins. I mean, not twins. They could be cousins. Yeah, you get a little bit of that spice from the ginger, a little bit of the like sharpness, but it smells like warm and just uh, a little spicy. Mm, I do like that a lot. So I got two of these. So that was my $13.95 candle haul. In store for Bopis, uh, the Wild Sand Soap was 50% off, so I got one of those. And then I just love the colors on the perfumery um, collection. That was for Hispanic Heritage Month, I think, by uh, Patty Hidalgo. And this is Vetiver Glow. Look at that bright orange. I just love it. But of course, with Bopis, they don't check, you know, everything is perfect like I would have. And now I have this bubble in the label, which is driving me nuts. So... Part of me just hates like going to exchange, just be like, um, can I exchange it for the same thing because of the label? So I might just get another one eventually down the line. It is Golden Woods Warm Amber Oak Moss. Yeah, you do get a lot of that um, amber note with the oak moss because it gives a, a earthy kind of green note. It smells good. I like that one. So I had to get that. And then so far I got the Oceanside Palm, just this really nice blue turquoise color. Palm Leaf, Gardenia Blooms, Ocean Driftwood. And you don't get the Driftwood, which I like. It's very like a watery Gardenia. It's floral, fresh, ocean. It's definitely um, a summer scent to me, and I just feel like the packaging with the colors are definitely more summer than fall, but I got that one. And so they have the strawberry pound cake, which I low-key want, even though I don't like that scent, because it's like a bright pink packaging, and Tiki Beach, which is a really pretty like mint green um, color there, so I might get that one too eventually. We'll see. I used a reward on this maple leaf. I thought it was really pretty with like the little um, designs on the leaves itself. So this one is, yeah, it does light up and it's scent controlled. So that I used a reward on. Oh, 
this I just put in here, but it's from Ulta. It's actually the pistachio biscotti candle. And these are like normally $20, which I would never spend on an Ulta candle for that. But then it was marked down to $10. So I was like, okay, I'll try it for $10. Pistachio, creamy vanilla, almond, and golden amber. Yeah, you get the pistachio and the creamy vanilla and the little hint of the amber. It smells pretty good, so we'll burn it and see how Ulta candles are. But they have some other gourmand ones. Um, just I just don't want to spend all that money on Ulta candles that I'm not sure how they burn. I picked up a coffee and whiskey. This was my $10 off 30 code that was expiring. Um, so I got this one, Bold Irish Whiskey Splash of Vanilla Hint of Coffee. Um, I got the a couple of these last year, and I think they're coming out with it again for holiday. So I don't know why they're coming out with it twice. I don't get it. This one, I get more of the whiskey note than the coffee itself, but it's nice. I don't think I burned one yet, so it'll be interesting to see. And a wild sand. I just figured why not get one more of these. Prickly pear fruit, cactus flower, warm agave nectar. Yeah, this one has definitely grown on me after the initial first try of it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But now I'm like, I do like it. Mm. And now the body care. So I got mostly like the new scents um, for it. My store did not have... Well, first, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon was not showing up as a Bopis, so I ordered that online as a reward for the Fine Fragrance Mist, even though when I went into my store today, it was out on the table, but, you know, I already placed an order for it. And Cozy Vanilla Bourbon Shower Gel was showing as Bopis, but that got canceled from my order, and when I was in store, it was nowhere on the table, so I guess they didn't have the shower gel. So, anyway, I'll just have to get that eventually later, but Moonlit Martini... I like the packaging of this. It's fall. It's nice. I like the colors. Vibrant Fruit Sparkling Gin Midnight Musk. So I got that with the shower gel. Mmm. That smells good. It smells like fruit. It smells fruity, but it's not like tropical fruity. It's almost like, almost like plum or cranberry. A little bit tart, but then you get like the gin and this musk and it makes it just like a little bit more of a nighttime fruit scent. Um, I did pick up another Chasing Firefly shower gel. I got the Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, which was in store. And it is suede, suede petal soft sandalwood vanilla bean. As well as the shower gel for that. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a little bit more floral than vanilla. But it's a nice, fresh, clean floral. I like that a lot. I might want more of those. I picked up a Together Weather shower gel because I don't think I got it in the shower gel form. So I got that. And I got a Sunrise Wood in the shower gel. Not um, in the Fine Fragrance Mist because I already have the original packaging and I like that packaging. So I'm like, I really don't need another Fine Fragrance Mist in it. But I thought the shower gel was pretty and I go through these faster. Uh, the notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, cozy cashmere. And then last was the new scent Copper Fields, which is Harvest Sun, Fresh Wildflowers, Bronzed Woods. And that with the shower gel. I really like how they're matching the lids. Oh, yeah, I do. I do get that like bronzed woods note. And it smells musky and creamy. I guess that's the harvest one. I don't know. It smells good. I do like that one. It's very fall. Very appropriate. So those were the body cares that I got. I still have to get my cozy vanilla bourbon. But thank you guys so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Happy. Have a good rest of your weekend.